Do you have any memorable stories from your time playing with the faces? Oh, all right. When I was playing with the faces, we'd done some gigs, and then we hadn't done some gigs for about 10 days. And then we had to get an early morning flight and a little late-seater seater aeroplane to fly to Denmark. And we had to meet this up about an hour's drive out of town in some little airfield, and the sun was coming up. And Mick Hucknall was a singer. And um, but it was Ronnie Wood and Kenny Jones and me and then Dag and Wood. But the sun's coming up, and he's a red-headed bloke and a bit pale. But as the sun's coming up, I th- so he's got a bit of a suntan. I said, hey, Mick, you caught the sun, you've been away? And he said, yeah. He said, I went to Spain. I said, cool, what part of Spain did you go to? He said, I went to the Basque country. Have you ever been? I said, I've yeah. driven for it. But... And I said, what made you go there? And he said, well, he said, a few years back, I had a DNA test done. I said, yeah. He said, um, they found some, quite a lot of DNA, Basque DNA in my blood, which is quite rare, and it is true, it's quite rare. So I thought I'd go to the Basque country, loved it, and every chance I get, I go back there. I said, cool. He said, you should. I said, well, go to the Basque country. I've been through it. And he said, no, no, you should have a DNA test done. I said, well, why? He said, well, you should, you know, you never know what you might find out. And I said, well, that's exactly what I'm worried about. And Ronnie Wood's going, what's going on here then? And um, he said, well, like what? I said, well, Mick, they might find out I come from Manchester. Right, like, Arnold's from Manchester. We're already went, what's going on here? You're all Londoners. I don't know what I'm doing in this band. Right, he's going, like, <laughs> that was quite funny. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Mick Hutton was a big star over you know, all those things. Now, of course, the Faces were not a punk band. You guys were mostly a blues rock band. So in terms of the different genres of rock and roll, punk rockers, at least in the 70s, were generally known to dislike progressive rock. What are your thoughts on progressive rock? Progressive rock. There's many schools of progressive rock. Um, And some of it was all right. Most of it was turgid nonsense. About six or seven years ago, I did a gig with my band. We were doing a festival, I think, called Wayfest. And we played, and on later on with Jeff Toll. And they opened up with Living in the Past, which I love. It's fantastic. So I went rushing down the front, and I watched them do it all the way through. It was great. And I could rush down the front because I'd just come out from backstage and I was leaning on the barrow. As soon as they finished, they went straight into Thick as a Brick, which is turgid nonsense. And I turned around and I had to pick my way through the crowd, which was about 20,000 people were going, this come out from the Sex Pistols, what's he doing? And like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And that was pretty embarrassing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more because there is a lot more to come. All the videos on my channel are original. I'm the one filming, editing, and conducting all the interviews. So if you guys like what you see and you want to support, the best way to do so is honestly just to subscribe. Thanks for watching.